Hi everyone. Hope you're having a fantastic morning so far today. Um, I wasn't going to even watch any of this or get involved with it because I seen the mainstream media had their hands all over it. So you know that there's something up if the mainstream media is talking about something or pushing in something all the time, which what I'm talking about is this trial that's going on right now, Rittenhouse. So I decided this last Thursday, I go, well, I'll check it out. Watched uh, some of the trial and right away, <clears throat> it didn't take very long to figure out what was going on with this whole thing with uh with the judge <clears throat> being an old white guy well you know like what what go what's been going on with antifa and black lives matter and all these other losers out there is that they've been taking down all the statues and all of that which i could really care give a rip less about you know, statues, idols, we don't need them. <clears throat> and uh, basically all these statues are uh, statues of Freemasons anyhow. But that's beside the point because it goes along with what this whole thing is going to be. So, you know that they've been ripping down statues and, you know, Roosevelt and all of that. They're just demonized, really, in the left wing whack job whatever i don't even know what to call them anymore but the uh when i was watching the watching the uh trial the judge goes some canada geese uh i heard him talking you know he he was you know and he's an old white guy and also, you know, these judges are Freemasons, and you know that uh, you know that they rule by Admiralty law. You know, you can see the yellow fringe on the flag behind them sitting there. But that's not the point right now. Uh, when I was listening to him talk, he said a few things, given some quotes of some people. And one of them, you know, he said that the great Teddy Roosevelt, you know, and he had a quote by him that he quoted. And so <laughs> right there, just by that alone, and and I only watched it for, you know, a couple of days on and off. And uh, so this white kid, you know, he's got his AR-15, which is exactly what they've been wanting for a long time. Some white guy with an AR-15 to do something. So the thing is with this is, I mean, I've seen a couple of days of it, but I don't think that the jurors are gonna have to decide for too awful long because uh, it seems pretty innocent for being that it was self-defense. And, uh, but that's just my, take on it the uh i believe it was all set up or if it's not set up they're using it and setting it up if you know what i mean uh so when he gets off when they say not guilty and he gets off all of the soros and company and antifa and black lives matter and all of these people are going to be throwing a fit rioting probably killing people well they do it either like straight up killing somebody or it comes as a consequence of their actions anyways and even if they didn't do it on purpose it's still what they do and uh so I, you know i don't just get ready because there's going to be some some fireworks going off i could imagine because why else would the mainstream be in, you know, and you got old babbling 
babbling dipwad Biden saying that the kid's a white supremacist and, you know, just stuff.